Hello and welcome to my journey series. We have covered almost the entire topics on journeys. I highly recommend you watch them. Last time we did journey of closing, a very important thing. So many people have asked if we can do it like complete initiation, planning, execution, all the process group to make more sense in that way. So here we are with the journey of initiation. Now the most important thing that is created in initiation is project charter. Project charter is simply the most important document. There are many questions who creates the project charter how the project charter is created first time project charter is created and approved by the sponsor it can be steering committee for the multi projects but it is approved by project sponsor and he is the guy who at the end will even approve the project so sponsor is the person project manager is actually getting authority in this process before that project manager has no authority here we will be deciding the organization will be weak matrix strong matrix projectized all those things project will be officially project will be official okay it's more of a project key deliverables will be there key milestone key stakeholders all the key key things and another thing that is created with the project charter as soon as the project charter is created is assumption log now we when we are creating the project charter we are doing a lot of assumptions for example that the project manager will stay till the end of the project this is an assumption we are assuming it then we are also assuming we will get the key stakeholder at a certain time again an assumption we are doing so many assumptions so we have to make assumption log and we need to revisit this assumption log at certain time it is just like issue log all the dates time responsibility and when we are going to review it assumption is something that we consider as right or wrong without any kind of approval now the thing is that how the project charter and assumption logs are created you see it goes back to why project was started why project was started we do need assessment having all the feasibility why we even need the project how it is going to add into the organizational strategy because project charter also tells us how it is adding to the overall organizational strategy all those thing we need assessment we do feasibility study of each and every type operational feasibility cost feasibility like human feasibility whatever you can say from need assessment we make business case now business case is only feasibility of cost benefit it's more of a benefit to cost ratio what are the benefits you are getting what is the return on investment how much money you are putting and getting back the payback period irr all those things are in the business case the business side of the project then we also make benefit management plan now all the benefits are being identified all those things have already been identified in the business case in benefit management plan we are also looking on the business value the tangible benefit as well as intangible benefit business case is only monetary thing benefit management plan takes more thing like how this will add or value how brand recognition will be there because the purpose of project is to increase business value and business value can be tangible value intangible value tangible like money assets intangible value brand recognition reputation all those things okay so we make benefit management plan we also have agreements signed with various organization ops eef we utilize all those things to make the project charter once the project charter is created the project is officially authorized now since the project manager has been appointed the project charter the first job the project manager do he has identified key stakeholder he will communicate he will communicate project charter to key stakeholder so that they can know what can be expected from them what are their roles and responsibility what are the timeline so important thing he will communicate the project charter to the key stakeholders okay and once he has done that he start making stakeholder register identifying the stakeholder guys stakeholder is someone who can make or break
break the project he needs to identify them he needs to manage them he needs to work on them so he utilize whatever the tools and technique he has eef will be there to identify the stakeholders ops will be there project chart and be a business document benefit management plan project management plan and stakeholder identification is an iterative process iterative process he can keep on identifying whenever a new stakeholder identified he will put it, them again into a stakeholder register and you can also use this pastel what who are the political stakeholder economical stakeholder social stakeholder technical stakeholder legal stakeholder environmental stakeholder all the types of stakeholders who are they he identify them you can also see book and all those things who are upward stakeholder like whom i am going to report who are my downward stakeholder who are reporting to me who are inward stakeholder who are outward stakeholder so all those things he will identify now once he has identified he will categorize them using power interest matrix people having high power high interest people having a low power high interest people having high power low interest no power low interest so people having high power high interest like product owner sponsor all those people will come there and he will manage them closely they are the most important stakeholder they are the most important stakeholder then the stakeholder having high power but no interest government people then the ceo company he will keep them satisfied it's his job to satisfy them however he can now people who have less power but they need information he need to keep them informed people having low power low interest we put them in watch list we do not ignore them maybe at certain time of the project we need to revisit the it and their power get increased so we need to see how to deal with that now we have a stakeholder register in which we have who are the stakeholders what are their power what are their interest uh, how we are going to like uh, how we are going to manage them or going to manage closely keep them satisfied now sometimes we can also make stakeholder engagement matrix at this stage or at planning stage stakeholder engagement matrix is basically a simple matrix in which we put the most important stakeholders here like say ali is a stakeholder ron is a stakeholder john is uh, sara so and putting and seeing what are their engagement state are they unaware of the project are they resistant of the project are they neutral of the project are they supporting or are they leading what is their current engagement level and what is my desired engagement level my mean the requirement of the project so let's say ali is currently unaware that amir is providing pmp trainings he is using success coaching system he also have batch program once in a month and one to one program and his success rate is 99.3 all those things having all those things if you don't know me if you don't have heard about me if your current engagement level is unaware you can never become a stakeholder i can never reach you i can never help you but i need you for my project i need to have some strategy that i change you from current to maybe neutral at this phase or supportive at this phase so maybe your current engagement level is this i need to make strategies how to change current engagement into desired actually all those strategies how you will manage they are they are comes under stakeholder engagement plan but that comes later on in planning so you put all the stakeholders current engagement level and desired and maybe someone is here you want them here someone is here you want them here someone is already supportive you want them to be supportive okay you want to maintain that relationship someone uh, is currently uh, supportive you want them to be leading especially at the start of the project so you will put all those things all their status in the stakeholder register so we made project charter we made uh, assumption log we made stakeholder register and now this is done for initiation now you are ready to move to next phase now stakeholder register is a very important document project charter can be accessed by anyone depending upon the confidentiality of the project you are doing you may not share your stakeholder register with other people so this is an important thing to understand so that's it from my side today that's it all about initiation i hope it has added value in your pmp journey and if you have not subscribed to our channel do subscribe my commitment to this channel is increasing day by day and i'm putting more and more content and uh, if you have not joined 
any PMP program, I highly recommend you can join our next batch that is going to start on 15th of October or you can join one to one mentor program and I will make sure you become certified. Till then, live with passion and bye bye.